Have you ever wondered why you see people that are taking these cards and tapping it on the back of the phone? Well, all it's doing is putting a business card on here. It makes it nice and simple, so you just go like this, and voila, it pulls in the contact information right there, and your business card is directly imported in the phone. Why do you want to use this? Because then people don't have to worry about putting your information in there, or they might not actually put it in there. So really, what do people do with business cards after you give them to them at an event? They do this. Yeah, so let's stop all that. Let's go ahead and dive right in. How to make an NFC business card. You also don't have to have really fancy cards made like that one. You can, I made all those, but you can just go on Amazon and get them. I'll put the link below so you can actually get your own cards. So let's dive right into it. First of all, you're gonna go to vcard.link and start putting in your information. Whenever you put the card information in, that's just in case you wanna have different cards for different things. So if I want to use it for friends, family, and have them have more information I could, or if I buy or sell her, things like that. So um, the authentication off of this, all this is going to do actually is be able to allow you to edit just this individual page right here. So if you change phone numbers, or decides you don't want to put all the information in there, you can go ahead and just change it in there. And then that's what you need the password for. So if you put a password in here, you can go back and edit. If you don't put a password in, it's not going to allow you to edit it. All right, so I'm not gonna put a password in here because y'all people will be on here and, and they'll change my stuff and change it to Farty McFart Pants or something like that. Anyways, so we want to add anything that we want. If we want to put a picture in here, we can put a picture in here. So I click on the picture button and I'm going to pull up a picture that I want to have. Well, I don't have any pictures of myself on my computer, so we're just going to use Blake's because he's a new agent. Welcome, Blake. And so then I'm going to adjust the photo so it sits right there. It's nice and pretty. His head's not cut off and you can zoom in and out right here and make sure that it's the right file size and file type. They'll tell you if it's not. All right, so I clicked on right here. Uh, it started putting my information in here whenever I put in my email up top. So I'm going to go there. My birthday, I don't care if people have my birthday. I actually prefer for them not to. Um, and then my organization, it's who I work for, Manor Realty. I am the owner. So type that in there. Sometimes you would put that in there. Sometimes you won't. You don't have to use this for business. This just could be your pickup for, you know, your Tinder dates or whatnot. Put your Snapchat codes on here. All right, so add a phone number. I'm gonna add any phone number that I want people to actually have in you. So I'm gonna put my cell phone number in here. If y'all call me, go ahead. I won't answer you probably. So I've got my cell phone number. I can add other phone numbers. So if I want to put in my, my work number or my fax number, who uses faxes anymore? I don't know, I digress. All right, so I'm not gonna do that. I just got my cell phone number in here. All right, my email address. Yes, I am going to put my work email address in here and it is right here all right and then if i want to send somebody directly to a link this is where i was talking about if you want to have different kinds of cards so i could send them to anything i wanted to type a work email and www.manorealty.com forward slash dustin dash owens all right so i've got that link in there and then i can add my address if i wanted to my notes right here, you could put whatever you wanted to in here, but uh, remember, this is gonna go to everybody. Don't be putting a long bio or something like that. Um, this is literally what's gonna pop up on their phone. So you might wanna put, you know, realtor or whatever your job title is or something like that, because it's gonna pop up. All right, so then I'm gonna hit create card. Oh, it doesn't like my, uh, that I didn't do the HTTPS. All right, create card. I bet you it doesn't work up top, okay. Create one without a password, I'll set that later. Okay, because I've got my name up here, it's not gonna allow that. So see, that doesn't allow it unless, if you don't put in a password, you can't put in the email address. Doesn't make sense because then you can't log in. All right, create a new card without a password. I'll set one up later. All right, so I've made this right here, right? So now I need to be able to take this card and actually scan it, share it, whatnot. So if I go to scan, look, made me a QR code so I could make that and put that on different things. I can hit save. You know, it's gonna save that as a contact file right there, but I'm really just gonna go to share. This is what I need right here. I need the web URL or this DCF link, that kind of stuff. So, all right, so after I've made that card, I'm gonna go into my email. As you can see that it has 
just different accesses that I can do right here as a landing page, things like that. If I want to go in and make my password, I can, all that fun stuff. So I need to go in and actually put it on this card. So how do you do that is we are going to go over to the phone now. All right, so now that we've created that landing page URL, we're gonna to go to an app on our store, it's the NFC app, and um, just download it. I use the pro version because you can store some extra profiles and stuff like that, and since I do these for our agents, it makes life a heck of a lot easier. From there, you are going to go to add record. Now, if you see in here, it's gonna have a lot of different options that you could add a bunch of different stuff. Well, guess what? iPhones aren't quite as caught up as us Android folks, but you can't use a lot of this stuff for an Apple phone. You can use it for an Android if you're just sharing with other Android people and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it, like make it send a text message, things like that, or send it a video link. So for you to send your contact to an Apple user, you're going to have to do it as a URL. So we're going to go in here and click custom URL, and then we're going to enter it. Now, you remember those two different ones. You want to use the one that says the VCF at the very end of it. And what that does is it downloads it for them. So if you see, just put it into there and I hit OK. Now I'm going to hit right on my thing. It says approach the NFC tag. So it doesn't have to be one of these. It could be one of the little buttons, which we have some of those too. And you just go like this and it just says right complete. And then you're good to go. So how does it work, you ask? Well, you come up to somebody and you meet them at a store or something like that, and you're like, hey, I've been looking for a realtor. Do you have a business card? And it says, can I see your phone real quick? And you go like this, and whenever you tag it, it's gonna say, just once, there you go, and it's gonna download the file. So whenever I download the file, it's gonna pull it up in my contacts. And as you can see in here, it has my work information, my cell phone number, and all that fun stuff as my email and then I can hit just import and it's automatically in there. So that way you know that they put it in their phone and it's good information. They, it's not anything that you wrote down that they might not be able to read, things like that. So that's how you're going to actually add NFC information to a card and use it as a business card. So if you have any questions on how to use an NFC card or it's not writing, it's not reading, please reach out and put a question in the comment section. Be glad to answer those for you. If not, good luck.